Okay, so I know this is a little random, but I wanted to throw this, I guess you can call it an install, with the rest of the video so you guys can see what it is. They're just these sidewall protectors that go right here. And it looks kind of cool since it matches the trunk liner that the car came with. But all you want to do for these is make sure you line this part with the latches in the back over here. But before doing that, you want to take these things off. They're just protectors and you need the Velcro on the back for these to stick on there. And I also got the rear seat back protectors for the car. You just slap it on there. It's not difficult at all. So I'm going to go ahead and get these things removed and then put on the sidewall protectors. There we go. It's a little better with the lighting, but I'm just going to line this up. The sidewall. that and as you can see it just protects the entire trunk you know with the seat backing and the rubber matting here so it's kind of it's kind of cool All right, let me get the other side again remove the six velcro protectors from the back and you want to line that up with that little uh, hook right there Slap it in place. All right, cool. So that's that. So there we go. Basically, it just covered the side wall and the entire trunk, for the most part, is now protected. And I can put anything in here and just not worry about the sides getting scratched as well as the back of the seat. But yeah, should be about it. Like I said, I didn't want to make a full video on this. It'd be a little silly to do that. So I figure I just throw this in with this video that I'm about to show you. So thank you guys for watching this part of the video. Go ahead and enjoy the rest of it. I'll catch you guys later. All right, so today's the day. Today we're gonna get the Outback Wilderness ceramic coated. So I was referred to this person by a few friends of mine. I'll link his IG somewhere on the screen here. But yeah, he is supposed to do the seven year coating on the Outback. I figure since now, you know, it's still brand new. I don't need any paint corrections or anything like that. So now would be the perfect time to get the car ceramic coated. And I think it's the most efficient way of doing it is when it's brand new. So we got the paint protection film installed. That's done. And today is going to be ceramic coating day. And then next week is when the tints get here. And then I think at that point, I can finally enjoy a little bit more of the car. So yeah, I'm just in the process of moving the cars. I got the WRX parked up front, the Corolla in the center. For now, I hate doing that. So I'm kind of excited since I've never ceramic coated any of my cars before in the past. Um, I know they have the ceramic coatings like the spray, but this is the full blown ceramic and it should last a good few years. I'm hoping uh, to get the most out of it as possible, as much as possible. But yeah, this is where we're at. I'm just waiting for the detailer to get here. And uh, in the meantime, I'm parking the car in the center of the driveway. Told me he's gonna wash it, clay bar it, and then polish it before applying the ceramic coat. So it's gonna be a long day. It's about 11 o'clock on a Friday, so it should take him all day. And I did tell him that I wanted to film like the ceramic coating part of it just for some cool B-roll shots, but uh, I don't really wanna bother him. So <laughs> I wanna let him focus on the car while I just do my thing with the camera.
right, so Lucky just finished ceramic coating the car and this dude was literally working since 11.30 this morning and it is just shy of 5.30. So he spent all that time prepping the car for the ceramic coat and so far from what I could tell, he did a good job. If you guys are wondering what product he used for the ceramic coat, he used the Adams. The product is rated for 10 years, but realistically he said that it should last uh, around seven years. So that's plenty of time for protection and I'm just looking forward to the easier car washes and just overall protection of the paint. Yeah, so far it's pretty flawless. I mean, if you guys can't tell through the camera, it doesn't do it any justice, but it is as shiny as can be and it really puts some depth into the blue the geyser blue of the car. So basically the entire front has PPF and I'm just really curious how the ceramic coat is gonna help it years down the line, but for now it looks amazing and it's shiny as can be. Yeah, you guys can see my reflection right there. And like I mentioned, this is the first car that I've ever gotten ceramic coated. So again, I'm just really looking forward to seeing what it's all about. You know, there's a reason it costs so much to apply. You gotta know what you're doing if you're using that kind of stuff. So, glad it turned out well. Yeah, he also hit the plastic fenders and everything like that. So all the plastic is also coated along with the top, just the entire car. Uh, he didn't have enough for the windows, but that's fine because that wasn't even part of the deal. But I'm just glad that all of this is pretty much ceramic coated and it just looks great. And if you're in the Portland area, if you're interested in ceramic coating, I will link Lucky's information down below. You guys can hit him up. He has great prices compared to the other people I've reached out to. So shout out to you, Lucky. I really appreciate it. So since this is the first car that I've ever had ceramic coated, if you had a car ceramic coated before, let me know in the comments below what you did to maintain it and how often you washed your car. I know I have a bunch of cleaning products over there, but I'm hoping with the ceramic coat that I wouldn't need to wash the car as often. But yeah, so I think that's gonna be it for this one. Uh, next week Week, the car goes in for some tints just for the front since the back is already tinted got a couple things to install in the car but I'm gonna wait until the ceramic coat cures lucky said around 24 hours maybe two days should be good but I'm gonna wait the full week just to make sure that it is fully cured and that we don't have any issues down the line so that's gonna be it for this one guys if you uh, have any questions let me know in the comments below other than that thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one